dear students in today's video i am going to show how to calculate elf and vdf first of all we need to know what is elf and vdf elf is defined as the damage per pass to a pavement by the axle means whenever a vehicle is running on the pavement flexible pavement it will cause a rutting or deterioration in the pavement from which damage happens it is termed as elf the full form of elf is equivalent axial load factor okay now what is vdf vdf is defined as the weighted average of the damages caused by the individual axial load group with respect to the corresponding volume of traffic of each group means first of all we have to uh, make a group of single axial load and tandem axial load next we have to take the volume of traffic in each group after that we have to take the average weighted of each group which is considered for single axial and tandem axial after that uh, we have to take uh, the final vo uh, volume of the traffic next uh, the full form of vdf is vehicle damage factor it does not have any readings uh, units okay now i will show how to calculate the vdf and elf by uh, use uh, solving the problem okay now here in question he has asked to find out the elf and vdf in axle load survey and the things he has given as per the question we have to see in the question for reference okay now he has mentioned here single axle and tandem axle loads okay now see here axle load in terms of tons he has given here also in terms of tons it is okay and number of axles he has given now come towards the problem solution first first point of solution first step of solution whenever the load given in terms of tons we have to convert it into kgs how we have to multiply it with 1000 therefore 1 ton equal to 1000 kg next for calculating elf for single axle load we have the formula e uh, elf equal to axle load in kg by 8160 whole power 4 which is as per the irc 37 2001 Uh, you can refer on page number fifty six. Now, for calculating the tandem axial load, we have the formula ELF equal to axial load in kg by one four nine six zero over power four as per the IRC thirty seven two thousand one on page number fifty six. You can refer. I will solve the problem. He has mentioned uh, axial loads and number of axles in the question. Okay, here. for example i am taking first sample to show you how to solve this problem for single axle load and tandem axle load now we have to make four columns for first column axle load we have to write in next column number of axle we have to write in third column elf we have to write in fourth column number of standard axles which is calculated by number of axles into elf this is the formula we have to use how we have we will calculate elf and number of standard axle loads i will show now for first sample i am showing here okay in the question he has given two tons so in two uh, for two tons it should be multiplied with 1000 so that it can get converted into kgs therefore it is 2000 divided by 8160 as per the formula whole power 4 we will get so and so this much of answer now number of standard axles as i have shown here number of standard axles next step we have to find what is the formula number of axles into elf number of axles he has given elf number of axles into elf we have calculated elf number of axles he has given in the question as 10 or 20 whatever he has mentioned we have to take that and multiply with this so do calculation for remaining uh, values and take the total uh, add the summation of that next for tandem axle for tandem axle i am taking the first sample 
द फॉर सॉल्विंग द सोल्यूशन फॉर टैंडम एंग मेन्शन इन द क्वेश्चन एज फोर इन टर्म्स ऑफ टर्म्स ना आई हेव कन्वर्टेड इन टू के जी इट विल बिकम फोर थाउजेंड बाई वन फोर नाइन सिक्स जीरो एज पर द फॉर्मुला फोर वी विल गेट सो एंड सो एंड सो नेक्स्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड नंबर ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड एक्सल्स सेम एज पर द सिंगल एक्सल नोट्स we have to find out uh, number of axles into elf we will get number of standard axles similarly do all calculations for the remaining values we have to sum the last column same as uh, we have to find the summation of single axle loads tandem axle loads not vdf calculation we have to solve for vdf also in this problem only so the number of Uh, standard axles of the sample trucks equal to single uh, axle plus tandem axles so whatever the values we are getting in the last column we have to add single axle and tandem axle we will get the sum of both no number of truck sampled we have to assume it as 250 Okay, now the formula for calculation of VDF is number of standard axles by number of trucks. Number of standard axles means how much you have got by adding both single and tandem axles. That value we have to write here, and number of trucks which we have assumed, we will get the final value of VDF. It has no units. Remember this point. It has no units. VDF is a factor. It does not have any units. so i hope you people get a clear idea about the find how to find uh, elf and vdf uh, in this video uh, and i hope you understood it uh, clearly thank you if you